Okay, what we're going to do here today is we're going to actually swap out the steering gear. And I think the easiest way to do this is really just to take off all the, the battery, the, uh, the air cleaner, the uh, intercooler charge line, and then I really just want to get on down there to the center of the steering gear and get the steering um, linkage disconnected up there, disconnect the power, uh, actually the power st steering pump uh, lines here that uh, hook on up as well as up to the, the brake booster. So that's going to be the mission. I could essentially go after it down here, but um, I think it's just easiest to take that stuff off from up top. You can see the essentially the lines here, the hook up. Like I said, you might be able to get to it down here. Um, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play it safe and have at it from the top there. Okay, just got the air box on out, the uh, uh, intercooler line, and now I can pretty much gain access to the entire steering gear. There's a little bit of a plastic cover that just, that just snaps right on there, so you just slide it on back. And then that, uh, Actually, there's a bolt right back there. You can barely see it, but there's a single bolt that holds that that uh, steering gear. That bolt secures the steering wheel rod to the steering gear, and there's you just have to pull that on out, and then pull these two, essentially the power steering lines off. They look a little rusted. I'm hoping that uh, they don't give me too much trouble here, but who knows? Um, okay. Okay, got it all on out. Here you can see the, the bolt, I guess right down there. That little bolt head right there. That's the only thing that's holding this, essentially the steering column to steering gear connection. Take that on off and slide this thing this way and it comes right on out. Of course you got the, uh, the arm that uh, uh, connects up to the Pittman arm. That, that disconnected, uh, not too bad. And then, uh, you also have the essentially the three bolts right here, and uh, they came out rather easily, so that wasn't too bad of a deal either. All right, I took the, the nut off here with the uh, essentially that was the inch and five sixteenths nut, and uh, with a little breaker bar here, it actually came out pretty easy. Um, now what I have is essentially a, uh, essentially a pitman arm puller, and uh, I actually got this at AutoZone. It seems like it's a pretty beefy unit, um, so we'll see how this goes here. I've got my impact wrench all set on up. This is a uh, 21 millimeter uh, nut there that uh, we're going to try to pull on. So let's see how easy it comes on off. And as far as the steering gear here, see if I can bring it on down there. Um, no, it looks, looks pretty. This is something to put on the red red steering gear. You can find out all the information you need on um, essentially any of the forms. But, um, Looks pretty darn clean. So uh, we're going to give it a little whirl here and put, start putting it together. Okay, using a pipe wrench here. Torque is set at about 200 foot pounds. Not the best of situations, but it'll work out okay. 
Ich glaube, Heu. Okay, I want to do one other little quick little contrast. This is my old steering gear, pretty dark in the lighting. I've got a trouble light actually held on it, and that's about as bright as I can get it. And here's the new steering gear. So how much play do I actually have in here? Well, you see, some of that's the amount of backlash I have in the steering gear. And essentially it's not doing anything. In contrast, there's nothing. This this steering gear on the from the redhead is completely tight. So this travel in your wheel is actually doing absolutely nothing when you turn it. So that's <laughs> That's what you're playing with when you drive down the road and essentially point the wheel one way and it goes that way and then you have to correct and goes back the other way and so uh, that's the, uh, there's a problem clearly here. So that's it. Well I didn't show all the steps in between here but you can see the, the uh, steering gear is installed and I've got all the uh, Pretty bright out today. All the air box and and um, intake all set on up here with the battery. And I actually even replaced that line right there too. One of the lines going on down to the, the steering gear. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't that bad. If you just do a little shopping around, uh, you can find pretty good prices online for just about anything. So um, um, as far as actual bleeding it, I. There's a video on the uh, YouTube if you do a search on, on the correct way to actually get all the air out of the out of the pump there and the essentially the 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 uh, of course it feeds the hydro boost here which is which is a part of your power steering system so if you just follow that um, you you should be fine um, other than that I think that's pretty much it.